Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Some more updates for you tonight. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle offer tips for how to deal with self-isolation on Instagram. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are taking necessary precautions to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus. It's understood that the Sussexes, who are currently living in Canada, are taking appropriate measures and heeding the advice of the government to help contain the spread of COVID-19. And today on Instagram, they're sharing tips advising on how to deal with social distancing and providing some invaluable mental health resources during this difficult time. The post on Sussex Royal features a graphic image of the phrase, Today I feel. With everything going on, it's a lot to take in. Many of us may feel confused, or alone, or anxious or scared. And in isolation, some of us may just feel bored, or that you don't know what to do with yourself without your normal routine. It's perfectly normal to be feeling any of these things, the caption begins. But here's the good thing. Because right now we need to hear good things, right? It continues. Yes, there is isolation and physical distancing, but there doesn't have to be loneliness. From there, Harry and Meghan list a number of resources, including the Crisis Text Line, Shout UK, and the Kids Help Phone in Canada, which can be accessed via your phone if you need support. They also promote volunteering for these organizations, as it can be done from home, while social distancing. Additionally, the Royals also emphasize the importance of staying connected to family and friends during this period of isolation. Phone calls and video conferencing are such a great way to feel more connected as if they're okay, tell them how you're actually feeling, and use this time to really listen for the answer, Harry and Meghan suggest. If there is someone you know and are worried about, your text may be the thing that saves their life. Their words echo a message of support shared by the Queen yesterday, as she headed to Windsor early for the Easter holiday amid concerns over COVID-19. Many of us will need to find new ways of staying in touch with each other and making sure that loved ones are safe. I am certain we are up to that challenge, she wrote. You can be assured that my family and I stand ready to play our part. In Instagram stories, Harry and Meghan also shared a reading of the poem Locked Down by an Irish priest, which describes the moments of beauty and community in this terrible pandemic. They said they found to be quite moving, listen to it. Lockdown. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and gray and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the housebound. Today, a young woman I know is busy spreading flyers with her number through the neighbourhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. Today, churches, synagogues, mosques and temples are preparing to welcome and shelter the homeless, the sick, the weary. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbours in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are, to how little control we really have, to what really matters, to love. So we pray and we remember that yes, there is fear, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choices you make as to how to live now. 
Today, breathe. Listen. Behind the factory noises of your panic, the birds are singing again. The sky is clearing. Spring is coming. And we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul. And though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing. Another report. Sam and Rex once offered $70,000 to say he hooked up with Meghan Markle. Before her life as a royal, Meghan Markle was a working actress in Hollywood. One of her previous co-stars, Simon Rex, recently revealed that several British tabloids offered him up to $70,000 to lie about their relationship by saying they hooked up. Rex explained on the Hollywood Raw podcast, Nothing happened. We never even kissed. It was just like, we hung out once in a very non datey way. She was just someone I had met on a TV show, and like, we got lunch. That was the extent of it. Markle, previously starred on USA Comedy Suits. When their one-time hangout session was made public, Rex says he was contacted by UK media looking for a scoop. The tabloids actually, when that story broke, a couple British tabloids offered to pay me a lot of money to say a lie that we actually hooked up, he said. And dude. I said no to a lot of money because I didn't feel right lying. Markle sued the owner of the Daily Mail in October, with husband Prince Harry accusing the British tabloid press of waging a ruthless campaign against his wife that echoed the treatment of his mother, Princess Diana. My British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. And so on to other news and the Duchess of Sussex didn't understand she would have to work hard and believed she could drive around in a golden coach when she joined the royal family, according to Princess Margaret's closest confidant Lady Anne Glen Connor. Lady Glen Connor told that she believed Meghan Markle didn't realize that all members of the firm had to work hard when she married Prince Harry. The former lady in waiting revealed, I think she thought she could drive around in a golden coach. But it's actually quite boring. Meghan and Prince Harry are currently self-isolating in Canada following their last official engagements as working members of the royal family earlier this month. Lady Glen Connor went on to say that her close friend Princess Margaret did so much charity work, but often without any photographers, adding that this was unlike Princess Diana. She also revealed that she believes Prince William and Prince Harry dwell too much on their mother. She said the brothers go on about their mother the whole time. I think it's a bit much. In January, Omid Scobby told that Meghan joined the royal family believing the role came with an almost instant popularity and said she had unrealistic expectations of her position. He revealed, I think one of the biggest mistakes Meghan made, and I've heard this from sources close to her, is that she naively went in thinking this role came almost with an instant popularity. Prince Harry and Meghan are currently holed up at their Vancouver Island waterfront mansion and are working with experts on how to best serve the public during this time, believing the pandemic is also a mental health crisis and feel compelled to help. Earlier this week, sources told how the couple feel they are now able to create their own life and have felt a relief since leaving the UK. This is what Meghan and Harry have always wanted to create their own life, a source said, speaking to People magazine. It's got to feel like an immense relief to get out of the UK and go down their own path. When the couple announced they were stepping down from the firm it was believed they would split their time between the UK and North America. However, it is now thought the couple will primarily reside on the western side of the Atlantic, having only made fleeting official visits to the United Kingdom to wrap up their final royal duties. Since relocating to Vancouver Island, the couple have the freedom to do whatever they want because the locals don't bother them, the source added. Lady Glen Connor grew up living next to Queen Elizabeth and her sister Princess Margaret at Holcomb Hall, which neighbored Sandringham. She became great friends with Margaret and was her lady-in-waiting until the royal's death in 2002. She has also known Prince William and Prince Harry since they were children, even bathing the boys together when they were young. Please support growing LMD Royal Channel by subscribe channel, 
like and share videos us. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. If you have any suggestions for us, please leave your comments below. Stop.